Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the Pixel Lab and welcome to 2018. Very excited for the new year and I wish you all the best. Let's get started with a couple Octane tutorials. So I'm gonna take this model and show you how to add dirt to the lugs of the tire, just to use some mixed materials to make some really nice dirt in there. And just a quick note, this model is a free model that Remco made for us at the Pixel Lab, and I'll put a link down below so that you can go ahead and download it. So um, the first tutorial is gonna show you how to use Pixel Plus Dirt Rig to add this really quickly with just a couple clicks. And then the second tutorial will dive into mixed materials and show how to set it up if you do not have Pixel Plus Dirt Rig. So if you do have it, this tutorial will be for you. Let's go ahead and click on Pixel Plus Dirt. And right away we have a objects to dirty slot that we need to put the tire into. So we have our tire here, we'll just drag that in. And then we have a clean material and that's gonna be the rubber. So we'll drop that in. And if we go to the tire, you can see that it made a mixed material right here, but it put it on the left hand side. You need to drag it to the right for it to show up. And then also I had this set to 10%, so I'll just tweak that. And then let's zoom in on this tire and figure out how to add some dirt. So we can actually do this all within the scratch option. So let's just click on scratch. We'll check that on. It gives you a new tab with a scratch material and then some options. So we're gonna go ahead and add a scratch material. I've already set this material up, but it's really basic. It's literally just a diffuse material with kind of a brown color. We'll use that for starters here. All right, so let's start from the top and we'll start with edges and check that on. And that's just going to look for the crevices in this model and fill them up. So we're gonna go and expand the radius a little bit so that it spreads out a little bit farther. You can see that we're getting some dirt showing up in the lugs here. Let's spread it out a little bit more, maybe increase the amount. So I'm just gonna do this pretty roughly. You can go in and tweak it a little bit better, but um, we'll turn that off for now and go to the leaks. And leaks is a great way to make some kind of random long streaks just to kind of break up the pattern. So if we um, increase the amount and the radius, we should be able to see them a little bit better. So you can see that we're getting these really long, nice streaks here. And we're gonna to wanna to increase the size to make them even more uh, long, that looks pretty good. And then we can probably dial down the amount just so we get some kind of random uh, pieces of dirt and grunge that are not as uniform. All right, let's uh, check back on the edges. And honestly, that's probably all we need to do. We probably don't even need to go into the body. The body is kind of just adding some flex here and there, just some randomly positioned little flex. And uh, we probably don't even need that. The edges and the leaks combined look really good. So that's it, just a quick way to add some grunge effects. You can see in my final render, I actually used a, an official dirt texture. Uh, we have a dirt texture as part of our material pack for Octane, which I used right here. It has an actual dirt material, which you might wanna use to just to get a little bit more realism. But that's basically how you would set it up with Pixel Plus Dirt. So if you don't have this plugin, first of all, you should buy it. Second of all, I'm going to go over how to add these with a mixed material in the next tutorial. So make sure to check that out if you don't have Pixel Plus Dirt Rig. All right, make sure to grab this free model. Thank you so much for supporting our site. Happy New Year to you all, and we'll talk to you next time. Ciao.